G'day folks, hope this finds you well. Uh, just come back from a, uh, a mountain bike ride this morning um, and it's the middle of winter here and it was freezing. I could have done with another layer of clothes. I got the long legs on and the long arms but um, yeah, definitely definitely needed to, um, to wear some warmer clothes. But anyway, that's just part of it. Um, look, I haven't posted a, a video for a while, but I thought I might just pop something up um, as it's just ticked over the two-year anniversary of my um, my heart attack and my bypass surgery. And with that, it um, it did throw up a few emotions. Um, look, 12 months ago, which was the first anniversary, I don't recall feeling too down about things. I was actually very focused on... Uh, my recovery at that time and getting fitness back uh, so I was just super motivated to to keep moving forward and I think that probably took took over um, that masked quite a few emotions I still probably hadn't dealt with but yeah another year forward um, a couple of weeks prior to my um, anniversary I started feeling a little bit down and uh, quite negative and confidence was low um, so in in that I thought I'll just reach out to our um, Cardiac Athletes Facebook group just to ask if um, if that situation has occurs to other people and it certainly does by the sound of it uh, although some some of the members did say that uh, as time passes it isn't so significant but one chap in the state suggested that um, or, or mention what he does is actually make it a, a celebration. Instead of being a sad occasion, he actually has a family get together. So um, we adopted that, thought that's a great idea. So uh, Leanne and I went out for, for uh, pizza, had a great night on the Friday night, and then afterwards um, some good friends from down the street popped around to our house to um, partake in dessert, and um, a good time was had. It was really, really good. Just uh, probably just have a bit of a calorie blowout too. Um, sticky date pudding and ice cream and apple crumble, really nice. Um, but in, in acknowledging the way I was feeling, I decided I needed to speak to my doctor. My doctor actually um, is 200 kilometres away by car, so it's a 400 kilometre round trip so it makes it a whole day so whenever I go to see him it's usually uh, it's a worthwhile you know, make the trip worthwhile uh, my doctor's quite unique in that 10 years ago he actually had um, a heart event as well so he's got a special understanding of what heart patients go through and continue to go through um, you know I spoke to him a, a, about a range of things, but um, but about my um, my lowness around the anniversary was the main thing really, and he he basically gave some good advice. He talked about acknowledgement and um, acceptance, uh, accepting the cards you've been dealt uh, with your genetics and genes, um, which I do. You can't change that. That's just that's just the way it is. There's nothing you can change about that. Um, but also acknowledging and acknowledging um, acknowledging my anxiety, my worries, um, my lack of confidence in my ability, uh, those types of things. So um, feeling, you know, for example, feeling uh, feeling low, you know, just acknowledging that, saying, "Yeah, I feel shit." Um, that's okay. We all have times when we feel low. Um, it's hard to keep a happy facade up all the time. It actually causes a bit more stress in the system, and um, it, it's just a rabbit hole. It's um, it need to be truthful and acknowledge the way that one feels. So I need to do that. Um, so that's going to be a challenge, but it seems to. Um, seems to be working at the moment um, being someone who goes 110% into something um, 
it's all boots and all or nothing, uh, it's going to be a bit of a mind shift. And also uh, not compare myself to other people, that's a big one. And that's something that I'm really going to have to work on. Uh, I've done that all my life and uh, continue to do so. You know, for example, with riding, um, I always want to be better and better. Um, but in reality, um, when I think about it, what I really want to do is to be able to just hang with our local group, contribute to the ride, and um, that's good. I've worked out that's good enough. That's good enough for me. Um, I'm not out to win any races or anything like that. I just want to, um, yeah, just be a contributing member. And also on Zwift as well, just enjoy it. Just keep the pressure off. Um, trying to be better than other people which who are probably half my age and that's just not going to happen physically it can't happen um, anyway yeah so there you go um, bit of an odd odd video this one but it's more of a diary I suppose for myself I can look back on this when I'm um, being a bit hard on myself and that's the other thing the doctor said don't be hard on yourself um, except who you are, be gentle on yourself, and that's a tough thing to, um, that's a tough thing to, that will be a tough thing to put into practice, um, and we hear it all the time, be gentle on yourself, but it's, um, it really does make sense, um, if we can. Alright, as I said, so, this will be a little diary for me, I can look back on this when I'm feeling a bit shit, and, um, it'll probably give me a, a kick in the pants and remind me what I need to do. All right, I hope everyone's well. Um, look after yourselves. Be gentle on yourself. Mm. And um, get out there. Move your legs. And I've got to tell you, that thing there, that's one of them, a bike, uh, is the best, the best tonic for me. Um, and now, an hour's ride on a bike uh, really does clear the head and um, get the head in the right place again. Okay, look after yourselves, as I said, and um, we'll see you again. Bye.